In today's video, I'm making another coffee table. I was halfway through making a video and then someone tried to buy one of my things, so I had to stop that video and do this video. The thing he tried to buy was the coffee table I tried to make about a year ago. There's the video. But it wasn't the right size, so I've agreed to make one and I've got to get it done within a weekend. This might be a full video, it might just be a YouTube short, I don't know, but let's get to it because I need to get this built. These are all now 50 centimeters long, but they are 12 centimeters wide. 12 times 13 is 156. This needs to be 150. So I'm gonna have to trim five millimeters off each one of these pieces to make it exactly the right length. Maths. They all have sharp corner edges, so we're gonna make these a little softer using the sander. Next, we're gonna add random notches down the side, like it's a piece of reclaimed timber, and we're gonna use an angle grinder with this grinding wood thing bit. Once all my top pieces were prepped, it was time to make the frame. But my miter saw is small and rubbish and wouldn't cut all the way through the piece of wood. So I had to trim a couple of centimeters off each one of the pieces just to get a perfectly angled cut. Cutting the pieces at 45 degrees should make a square, right? Well, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. What the f <laughs> is that? I can't buy any more wood because the wood place is closed. I can't make it any shorter because it's got to be a specific length and it's got to be done for this weekend. I've got to figure out how to fix this. That fix went incredibly well, that's never happened before, so it's time to assemble it, and it's too big to put anywhere in my freshly built workshop. <laughs> This is a nail with a flat end. I use it for countersinking nails like this. I know there's a tool for that, but I haven't got one.
Just in case you're wondering, I'm filling the nail recesses with glue and sawdust. Now that it is pretty much assembled, it's time for my favourite part. Fire! After flaming it, I sand from about 120 to 240. I find if you start any lower at 100 or 80, it takes the colour away too much. Then once it's nice and smooth, a coat of varnish, sand it again, another coat of varnish. I do this three or four times. I changed the base frame on this one because I can't put the legs at the end there and there like that. It'll be too flexible in the middle. So I need to bring the legs inwards to give it a bit more strength. But when I trim these pieces down so I could cut the angles perfectly on the circular saw, which didn't happen, I totally forgot about the legs. Because this is for a customer, I'm going to install two different sets of leg configuration and let them decide which one they want to use. And there you go, the table is completed, it has been packaged, it has even been delivered, and the customer is very happy with the final product. Because I've done this one before, there wasn't many issues in making it. The only problem was the way I changed the base frame and the fact that my saw wouldn't go through it. If you've got a better saw, it'll be dead easy. <laughs> Actually, the trickiest part about this was packaging it. It was massive. Obviously there wasn't a box big enough, so I had to stick as much card together as possible to make it extra safe for delivery. This video was really cool for me because the first time someone has given me money for a project that isn't one of my friends or a family member, and it's all through this YouTube thing. But I need to point out it's not actually my first customer because someone reached out on Etsy about a month ago and they want me to make something for them, but they're not in a massive rush, so that should be in a couple of videos time. Now the big question, how much did it sell for? I actually sold this for £150, that included delivery. Delivery cost about £20 over here. Timber and materials, that was about £50, so that leaves us with 80 quid. And it probably took me about seven hours in total. So that's an hourly rate of about £11. So almost the same as working at McDonald's, but a whole lot more fun. In fact, I really did enjoy this because it was simple to put together, it was simple to edit, I need to do more of these quick, easy videos. Unlike the project that sat over there, but it is very close to being finished, so hopefully that video will come out soon as well. Apart from that, if you've got any tips, questions or suggestions, stick them in the comments below. I do try to answer them all, and yeah, it would be cool if you could subscribe. I need to carry on with that project to do that video and then move on to the Etsy order. So I'm going to go now. I'll see you in the next video.